Yeah, I'm trying to think of confusing anime movies, and the only one that comes to mind is Evangelion. Yeah, Omodo- that's it. Omodoka. Okay, yeah, that. Omodoka. I, I haven't watched that because I heard that was confusing. Oh, you stink! Madoka yeah. was one of them. Um, Madoka is on the same level. I'm actually planning to do like a watch party of all four of the movies. Just yeah. because like, why not? Cause like, again, I've only seen 3.0 and 4.0 yeah. once. And I'm like- What, well, like on stream? Yeah, on stream. Oh, I would just press play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cause like Twitch has a thing for I, that now. I might now. do that. Okay, yeah. is, there, is there a thing for that now? Yeah, yeah, there's a thing for that now. Wait, what? Like a, like a watch party function. How does oh. that work? So, so basically it's like the Twitch thing. It, I think it's, this is a relatively new thing, but basically when you do a watch party together now, when you go to that person's Twitch page, the person the, the person streaming is actually in the corner now, and you get prompted to log into your Prime Video or Netflix. Oh shit! And it oh like and it, and it syncs up. Yeah, dude, and it's like a brand new thing now. Yeah, my Twitch I'm, partner. I might stream now. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I might no, yeah. no fucking That's a game yeah. changer. Holy, t- I, I can work and watch Netflix. Yeah. So so my Twitch partner was like, oh, since all the Ava movies are on Prime Video and Twitch has this new thing now, you can easily do a watch party. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck yeah, dude, let's Pesos do it. He owns that too. Yeah, he owns all of these. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just, of course on Amazon Prime. So now you can, That's just, that now, 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 now you now, now you can cry on stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, or, or get very well, honestly, confused. <laughs> okay, so I, I got to ask you, what was your reaction when I when? Up. All right. Well, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Obviously, no spoilers in this. No, no spoilers. Episode, I just want to know what your I just want to know what your reaction was yes, when your reaction, when, when the credits started. Rolling. When the credits started yeah. rolling. I'm, I'm sorry, Connor. I just I just no, need, no, no, I just no, need no, to no, gush. No, no. I just Go need ahead. to gush. I've yeah. literally yeah. never. I I think that might be the first time in my life where the term dumbfounded <laughs> is like actually eligible because yeah. like I think if you had if I had seen myself in yeah. the cinemas right I probably would have made a face like. For, for the entire credits. Yeah. Just because I, cause my brain, I don't think could process <laughs> what the fuck I just watched. <laughs> yeah. And like, and because I went to go see it with uh, Ken, Ken yeah. Arto, who was on the show. Right. Um, and uh, he was obviously, you know, during the credit sequence, he was just like, oh, I know that animator. I know that animator. <laughs> Me- uh, meanwhile, like what Ken was saying was just going in one ear and out the other. Yeah, because yeah, I was yeah. like, Ken, don't give me more information. I'm, I'm still trying to process everything I literally just watched. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like it was, I think the best way to describe 4.0 for me was, it was very bittersweet. Yeah. Because it's like, you, it's, it's not until really those credits end and you walk out of the cinemas yeah. that you realize, oh, this is really it. Yeah. Like, I'm, th- there isn't going to be another movie anymore. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe there will be. Maybe, maybe, there will, but maybe this, there'll be a spin off or something. This story I don't know. has ended. Yeah, this right? movie franchise has ended. Like something I fucking grew up with my whole life. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I was like, is this how I'm going to feel when like One Piece ends? Or oh, like, fuck. that's I, how I felt when uh, Arthur got canceled. I, 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 don't, I don't even want to. I can't believe they canceled Arthur. Yeah. Arthur or like, got canceled? Arthur got canceled. Arthur got canceled? Arthur got canceled. When? Like, like right after the episode where I said, Arthur will never be canceled. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It literally got canceled. Oh my God. I, I just assumed Arthur was gonna be there when I had like yeah, right. yeah, children. Yeah. yeah. Fuck man. Yeah, so like, Sorry. I don't know. Like I feel this is how, because I've obviously never experienced like a show I grew up with, like a yeah. big, big franchise like that to just end in my mm-hmm. lifetime, right? Like yeah. I feel this is how it's gonna be when like One Piece or like Jojo or like- I don't even want to imagine when One Piece and Jojo- ends Yeah, right? Like, like I feel fuck. that emotion that I felt at the end of 4.0 is yeah. how I'm going to feel. And it's uh, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> it, it was like, cause, cause it's rare in life now that I watch something and I feel something I've never felt before, yeah. which, is, which is exactly what I felt. Cause yeah. it, this is something I grew up with, something I always thought would be there, right? Yeah. And then it's just, it's just like, it's just over. It and really like, does feel like, like a family pet has just died. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, it's something that, it really is. It's like, that's, I, I'm, 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 it, it's honestly, it's that same emotion. Honestly, I, I started fucking bawling, man. Cause yeah. like, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I wasn't even hyped for 4.0, yeah. right? Cause like fucking nine years had passed since the, fast since the last film and I'm just like, I'm I'm just like, whatever, it's out. I will, I'll watch it out of obligation. Yeah. I love Ava, but I don't, I could go my entire life without watching another Evangelion movie and mm. I would have been completely satisfied. So I watched it literally out of obligation. Yeah. And then like, I think the last half hour hit and I'm just like, oh my God, what is this I'm feeling right now? Yeah. Is this is this a feeling of closure? Am I, am I closing a page in my life right now? I'm just like, what is, what is this feeling? And then the end credits felt like the end credits started rolling and I just process is the right word. Cause there are so many emotions coming up at once that yeah. I just, I didn't know how to process them all. Yeah. And you just felt empty and you just, you just felt like, I, I, I felt like a void, a fucking void in my life. <laughs> and I'm just like, 
There is what? nothing that's going to fill this hole up that, there, uh, I, yeah. that, That's why I need to talk about it. Yeah. That's why I'm so desperate to. Because, because, because I remember as well, like when the when the first posters for 4.0 got mm, released yeah. in Japan, the tagline for it was Sayonara Evangelion, which means goodbye Evangelion. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's kind of a cool, very, yeah. you know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> very like artistic, like uh, Ava yeah, yeah. kind of tagline. I didn't think anything of it, right? Yeah. But then when they said that line in the movie at that uh, at a yeah. particular scene, I was yeah. like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I it's should like, have treated you like, better. I should have treated you better. I should have treated you more, more right. Don't leave me. Not now. And like, that was the moment where I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Like this, th that this is... point, I think really solidified to me how important this series was yeah, to me. I, I'd forgotten it was until, until yeah. that moment. And like, I've been doing ever since I've, ever since that movie, I could, I've not been able to watch anything else. I've not been able to like play any games. Cause yeah. I, I just, feel like that emptiness. You and literally like, can't, you literally can't consume any other media for at least a week. Yeah, cause like I tried to, and I'm just like, this, this ain't, this ain't Ava. This is, this ain't, this ain't Ava. Well, what's, what's the point? Try, I'm really scared to rewatch it. Yeah. I tried, tried playing a game of league, lost. And I'm just like, don't care. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> is that how it's not the ending? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like, not, nothing's gonna fill this. It's boy. like that moment after you come, you just don't feel anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, just, you just sit there like- Which is what I'm saying. Like, no I'm emotion. Like, I, I, I think I've just reached Zen. Yeah. Like I, I, I feel like I've reached, I've reached enlightenment. Like, uh, like, fuck being a monk, man. Like, uh, this is—is is this what it feels like? You just, you just like, you just like an open book, and you just like, yeah. I've, I finally. Who would have thought I could become a monk with a six ninety nine yeah. membership? I'm finally at peace with my life, and now I'm, I just, I just wanted to get yeah. that out of there. So I'm, I just want to move on yeah. with my life. Now. So, so for anyone watching this who's never seen Ava, yeah. we're not, we're not coming on to here saying that we recommend you to watch Ava. Yeah. Because it's, it's hard to recommend something. It's, like like it's that. hard to recommend now because you're not going to have the same experience that mm. we had, where you just like, no. we, where you grew up with this. Yeah. So so, and you know, like I said, it's it. If you're someone who's going in a tough time in your life, then I honestly recommend you experience it because maybe it will teach you something mm. about yourself. I did. I was going to say, I was like, do you, you know, if you haven't had any struggles with mental health, is it hard to appreciate stuff I like that? I think so. I think so. Because like, I uh, because like after I watched Ava, I've like I've just been binge watching so many like Ava analysis but, like <laughs> videos, which is which is, <laughs> which is like my, which is like my I guess like my way of coping. I think and I think Ken and I had about a six hour conversation and it is a Kaya <laughs> about just the movie we just watched yeah. the entire time. Yeah, yeah. and I, th I think the uh, video that that I like related to the most mm. in terms of what I felt when I watched the first time was a uh, was, was Ava bridged. No, no, no. Uh, Sc Scamboli like Scamboli review did a video called you don't understand Ava oh, right? yeah, in, in, yeah, yeah. in like in like mm. sarcastic text yeah. you know where uh where he basically broke down why Ava is like basically a really badly told plot and yeah. really mm. like like he, he he basically broke it down in a way where I completely agreed with him yeah. or I, I would have completely agreed with him because that was basically that was basically what I was trying to say when I had watched the first time because yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't Resonate or relate to anything that was trying no, to be said. No, me neither. I, mm. I, yeah. I, 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 you know, I didn't really feel sorry for Shinji at all. Mm. I yeah. felt like I was supposed to. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, I that's know. the thing. The emotions were there. I mean, but the execution was not yeah, there. I mean, like, I, I don't think like you were even supposed to feel sorry for him, right? Because, mm, I don't know. yeah, exactly. I like either you do feel sorry for him or you don't. Mm. Like a lot of people would do because a lot of people relate to that kind of mental space, right? Mm. And that, they can resonate with that. Mm. But like the series doesn't explicitly tell you, you should feel sorry for this person. This yeah. person is this, it's just, that's, that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of like the thing that maybe like, no, not everyone will enjoy Ava. Not everyone yeah. should enjoy Ava. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it to someone in a very me a healthy mental state because one, you probably wouldn't get it. And two, I wouldn't wish for you to be in a bad mental state to begin with yeah. to like get it, right? Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, you know, Bojack I thought was great because I, <laughs> I wasn't depressed watching it, but I certainly was after. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I mean like things like Bojack and like, you know, we, we related Ava to Bojack, but I yeah. think like something like Oyasumi Pun Pun is probably closer in terms of like actually, you know, presenting a very sad story in yeah. a way that can get anyone of any mental state in, yeah. you know, invested in mm. the story of Bojack, right? Well, like, you know, Bojack in, in that case was told in a very like straightforward, like, here's yeah. the thing that's fucked up. You know, this is why you should feel sorry. And for most people, they felt sorry. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, easily presented. But like, <laughs> I feel Ava in that sense is almost so vague with what you, what they want the viewer to feel. Yeah. To the point where it's like, 
here are the emotions that you should be feeling, but we're not going to tell you to feel those emotions specifically. Mm -hmm. That's up to you to decide. Yeah, that kind of thing. Like I, I, I don't trust anyone who says they understand Ava. Like, no. <laughs> like you, you can, you can spend all like. Well, it just sounds like you can have an, an interpretation of Ava. You can have an interpretation. Oh, there's of many, Ava. many yeah, well, interpretations. Yeah, like of but, but to, but to yeah, claim yeah. to understand Ava, I feel like it's just I, I don't I don't I honestly don't think it's possible. And I'm sure there are some Ava fans that are out there that are just like I can't believe yeah. he said that. I'm um, actually, <laughs> <laughs> but like I've I've like spent so many fucking hours watching different people analyze it, different mm. people's interpretation. But like there are so many different interpretations of the series to begin with that it, I, I just think that's that's. That's the thing, right? There's a reason why we are still discussing it to this day, 26 yeah. years later. Yeah. And I think it'll, it'll always be discussed. Right? I, rem I remember it was a couple of years ago, I think like uh, when when it, we were still in the rush of all these people, you know, just analyzing every single piece of imagery from the TV series, right? Yeah. And mm. one that got discussed a lot was when the angels explode, they create an explosion that looks like a cross. Yeah. And there was so, I watched so many analysis videos being like, this is why Arno chose the cross and why it's super symbolic and blah, 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 blah. And then a couple of years later, they came out with an interview with Arno and they were asking, so uh, is there any reason why when the angels explodes, it turns into a cross? And he literally just said, I just think it looks cool. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and and all, all the anime YouTubers were like, we spent all this time analyzing something <laughs> that he just put in because it looked cool. <laughs> I mean, and like, and, and I feel like that alone to me really showed the fact that Arno doesn't think this shit is deep. He just put it in also, because it's cool. Also, if you're saying that you didn't have time or money to make mm. a proper ending, yeah. yeah, what's the odds that he had the time to be able to be like, no, 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 change the explosion to a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this, this is why you should do yeah, this because yeah, yeah. it's symbolic to the story. No, because, yeah, Arno, because it's just, budget, so it's just a TV love letter to all the shit that Arno likes. He's like, I think the cross looks cool. Just yeah. add that shit in, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I would say that maybe he didn't make a conscious choice. He put stuff in just because it felt right. And yeah. It looked right. And it created a certain tone, a certain mood, whatever. Especially in four and you can, you can analyze that, but to say that everything had a purpose and yeah. everything was put there for a reason, I mm. think, I think no, no, not everything in no. Ava. I, I don't think Anno knew everything that he knew what he wanted to say in I Ava. I feel especially in 4.0 as well. There was so much shit in there. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, that, why is that there? Oh, yeah. fuck it. You know what? It's Anno, just let him do what he wants to do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, some of the strangest collaborations I've seen are like from Ava. Ava is Ava is it's like weird. Ava is the one franchise where I don't think they have limits. No. Like, 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 literally, I, th I think I, like every product under the sun can work with some kind has worked with some kind of yeah. Ava collaboration. If the brand exists, Ava has collaborated. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <Every time. laughs> <laughs> there isn't like, yeah, I've seen everything from like food to glasses to toilet paper with Ava, and I'm like. Well, I know what I'm buying. <laughs> I do like Ava. You, you could literally live out your entire life just on fucking Ava merch. Oh, just like, where, where, where are the Ava suits? I want my Ava suits, man. I want my Ava suits. Well, I've like got it, Jojo suits. Like the actual plug suits? Cause, cause Jojo, like, so like because Ava suits. Because <laughs> Ava is for children. Jojo is for men. <laughs> That's why. Maybe that's why they have Ava diapers and not a Jojo suit. Like I think the weirdest one I've seen is like, you can buy like an official, unofficial Ava marriage certificate, right? So you can, you can have an Ava themed wedding with Ava wedding rings and have your marriage certificate printed out as an official Ava marriage certificate collaboration. To be fair, Key, to Key Studios gave me official uh, clan ad marriage certificates. I, oh my. I, I wonder- I still have those. I wonder why God knows about getting married in full Ava. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, honey, God. get my plugs. What do I, honey, get in the robot. We're getting married. Yeah. You guys will soon find out that I'm having an Ava themed wedding. No, no, I'm just Fuck kidding. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm rocking on with my plugs suit, baby. <laughs> Thank you all.